Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan from Titans of CNC, formerly Titan American Built, and today we're going to talk about CNC machining titanium. We're going to talk job shop philosophy. All right, I've built many companies and now I'm in at Titan America and this is my CNC job shop. We do all kinds of parts for big aerospace companies and I machine and my team machines a lot of titanium. We started off in the subsea building parts for ROVs that go to the bottom of the ocean and machining titanium and we really like started excelling and being experimental with tool paths and stuff and, uh, and we had great success. Then we jumped up to aerospace now we make crazy parts with you know just thin parts super complicated but we do it fast because of the way we run our tools all right why am i teaching you my secrets because there's not enough older machinists in the shops teaching the young guys you know is it their fault no we're fighting over scraps we're fighting over scraps from all the outsourcing all the work that should be here that's going overseas I truly believe if you're in Australia, you deserve to make your own parts. If you're in Mexico, if you're in China, make your own parts. You guys support your own economy. We are in America. We're in the greatest country in the entire world, a country where freedom reigns, where a guy can go from homelessness to prison to building his own job shop because it's not about, you know, where I was born or how I'm classified. It's based on talent. Right. And because I've always been a machinist that loves working with the younger generation and the kids in the shop. Now I got the idea. Other people around me all got the idea at the same time. We've been making the show for five years. We have more media than anybody in the entire nation, in the entire industry. And we own it. We because we're CNC machinists that make our own show. Let's share it with the world. Let's create a thousand different models and projects that are realistic to our industry. Let's put them up online and make it so teachers and students and machinists can download them for free, and they can become great at uh, you know great at machining. Their skill can rise. Machinists that are three axis, they're, they're just doing with, you know, X, Y, and Z, we can add in the B and the C, right? Or the A if it's a fourth, you know, and we can add in the different axis based on, you know, knowledge because knowledge is power. All right, so I'm rambling now. So CNC machining titanium, I'm in my tool crib. I'm just getting into education, philosophy, right? A while back, I just put up a, a video on YouTube and it's called Building a CNC machine shop where I talked about marketing and branding yourself. All right. Now I'm getting into a little bit of teaching. All right. It's Saturday. I'm in my shop right here. Everything's nice and perfect. I like it perfect because I'm a CNC machinist. All right. So let's open up one of my drawers. Everything's nice and neat. I got Imco, Imco end mills. All right. I got flat end mills, bull mills, ball end mills. You know, I, I like the 525s. They're the five fluters. Sometimes they use the seven fluters. Sometimes they use the nine fluters, even the 13 flutes. Back in the day, surface footage was like 175 surface foot when you would run end mills in titanium, right? But what you had was you had this long tool and you were just using the tip and it would flex and you didn't have rigidity and you're taking a big cut on the bottom and it would kind of bounce on you and you didn't have a lot of success and people were running at 10 inches a minute. I did a video where I was running at 250 inches a minute and people were like, oh, he can't do that. He can't this and he can't. Well, have you ever seen a 13 foot tool? Have you gone into Autodesk and actually used their adaptive paths, their, their tricordial, their peripheral milling paths? That, that just walk into the cut, right? I tell people, you jump into the water off a deck, it's a plunge. If you walk casually into the water on the beach, it's soft, it's smooth, you're relaxing, you're having a good time, right? That's what you gotta do when you're machining titanium. You can't come in straight into the material. You got to blend and just walk right into the material and you got to do it fast right so it used to be 175 surface foot now we're doing about 350 to 450 surface foot okay chip load 0 0.0052 
not with any end mill, with the Imco end mills, all right? Everybody knows me. I don't take money to sell end mills. I don't make money off end mills and stuff. I feel that if I have a sponsor, they have to be legit because there are, there are machinists and guys who work hard for their money and they're listening to me. And if, if I give them garbage, then that's basically stealing from them. So my word, my reputation has to be everything. This is a tool that I've used for years before I even knew the guys. They saw what I was doing. We built up a cool friendship, partnership and stuff. But at the end of the day, every day, I run these tools, okay? So machining titanium, all right? Instead of taking a big cut on the bottom, we're going to take an, let's say you got a, a inch and a half, right? Back in the day, you'd only go a quarter inch down with like kind of hopefully a stubby tool and you would take a small cut and you keep taking small cuts and small cuts and small cuts. Now, we're gonna take a half inch end mill on a 1.5, we're gonna drop all the way down but we're going in 10%. So on a half inch end mill, it's gonna be about 50 thousandths. We're gonna go 50 thousandths on a five flu, the M Imco 525 series. Look it up, educate, knowledge is power. You know what I mean? What radius, what corner radius should I have? Which end mill? You know, call up call up these guys, to ask for technical advice on, on your application, okay? But we're going, we're going 10%. If you go to a seven flute, everybody's like, oh, seven flute, nine flute. I love it, love it, love it. But keep in mind the chip evacuation because there's more flutes, there's less chip evacuation. So your depth of cut has to decrease. So if you're at 50 thousandths, you might go to 35 thousandths per cut. And, and sometimes I'm like, is it really worth it, right? So I'm not dogging anybody, I'm just being real, right? So I like the five flutes as my workhorse, I drop Full depth, 50 thousandths, getting a nice, the overall amount of material is greater than if I was doing the cut, the small cut, old school style, right? And I just go for it. I'm aggressive, 350 surface foot, right? If it's nice and stubby, you know, and, and you're nailing it, you can even go up to all the way up to 450 surface foot. But as the tool gets longer, as the workpiece and the rigidity lessens, you got to drop your surface foot, okay? Chip load is 0 0.0052, all right? Have some fun machining titanium Inconel Monel. All right, those numbers are just for titanium. Later on, I'll give you some numbers for machining ink and L. All right, I want to see the younger generation get excited. You, you know, it, to me, it's not about making one, you know, awesome part. It's about making many parts, about doing it every single day so that you can keep hitting that button, hitting that button, and, and through repetition, you're going to get good. So don't try to like bite off too much. All right, speaking to the younger generation. Make more parts. Press the button. Edge fine. Put, you know, vices in. Cut soft jaws. Try to do it on a daily basis so you get good through repetition. That's what my online education platform is going to teach. It's going to teach through repetitive programs, right? How do we draw something? How do we program it in the Autodesk Fusion? all at the same time, there's no disconnect. I drew it so I know what I'm trying to achieve. Now let's let's add in the tools, let's create the code, let's put it in the machine, let's put the vice in. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about stoning vices, locking down vices, tramming in, you know, indicating vices. We're gonna talk about putting, you know, holders, what kind of, the different holders, right? Tools and holders. We're gonna talk about, you know, editing software. Uh, editing at the controls, you know, pluses and minuses. We're going to talk about edge finding and probing. And, and we basically have a list of 200 different videos. And that's just a little bit of all these how-to videos we're going to do on our new online platform, titansofcnc.com, coming November 11th. I already have a great website. Check it out. But that's my lesson for the day. Machining Titanium right here. Love this trade of this industry, boom.